Hi everyone, it's Lisa Brown with InkandInspirations.com. Thank you for joining me today. In this video, I made a card casing one from that uh, mini catalog. It's using the beautiful Botanical Prints product medley that comes with beautiful products within one uh, easy pack with dyes and papers. And uh, we're going to be starting with a Whisper White card base of five and a half by eight and a half. A piece of that six by six designer paper cut at four by five and a quarter. No, I'm sorry, four and a quarter by five and a half. And then this black and white print that's also in that pack, it's two and a quarter by four and a half. And then a small um, strip of the stripe that's one half inch by four. And so we're going to be assembling this using two of the stamped images that are in that set and we'll be coloring those a little later on. So I'll need two of those. So let's start by taking our Whisper White card base and folding it corner to corner and making our fold here. And now we're going to take the designer paper that is four and a quarter by five and a half. It will completely cover the front of the card. And these prints are just beautiful. You can use them as is or you can color them. Uh, but this one, I love that uh, yellow background, and so we're just going to use that just as the catalog did, or the designer for the catalog did, I should say, and just place that over our card front using some snail adhesive. All right, so now we've got that first layer down, and we can start building up on top of that. So let's take that black and white print, Again, that's two and a quarter by four and a half. And we're going to just glue it there, but we're going to add that little stripe just down that right edge. So I'm going to use a little bit of liquid glue, our multi-purpose liquid glue, and uh, put it on the edge of that other black and white print. And just center it top to bottom so that it peeks out there and adds a little accent strip right there on the side. Okay, we've got that, and we're going to go ahead and we can put that down on our card front. And I'm going to put it a little more to the right um, on the card front. Let's use liquid glue, and you'll see where I put it down, where it's a little more to, toward the top, and then a little, a little to the right of the card center. So now we have these two botanical prints that I stamped with the stamp set that's included in this medley. And I chose a light Mossy Meadow and light Bermuda Bay Stampin' Blends alcohol markers to color these in, just simple coloring book style. So I'm coloring the leaves and I'll trace over the stems for this. Now in this product medley, uh, I was telling you there are just so many products that you can use to put your card projects together and so it comes with a beautiful stamp set a six by six stacks stack of botanical prints paper uh, some colored die cut adhesives that are ready to go that you can use on a card front uh, and then some die cut labels and we'll be using one of those today as well as the dies and some little bumblebee gold embellishments a bolt of old olive ribbon and um, some laser cut accent pieces that um, has a pretty peacock color on one side and it's white on the reverse side. So you can use either side or add color to the white side. So now that I've got that one done, I'm going to color the second flower in the same way. And then I'm going to take the die and cut both of those out with my die cut machine. And so I've done that previously to save a little bit of time. So here are our two pieces. And now we're going to bring the card back in. And I have some die cut old olive leaves that are, the dies are included in that set that comes with this product medley. So I'm going to use those to accent in just a bit. But now I'm trying to decide just how I'm going to place these botanical uh, prints behind my sentiment. 
So now I'm going to get a label, a die cut label from the set, from the medley, and I'm going to use uh, some Memento Black ink and stamp the thank you kindly sentiment on that label. So I'm just going to straighten that out and center it up and stamp. Okay, so now I'm going to take a three inch piece of that ribbon. It's in that beautiful t uh, old olive twill. And that's going to go behind that sent sentiment in some way. But I'm still trying to decide how I'm going to place this and get it done. So let me see. We can go ahead and put these two prints down using some liquid glue again. And I like using the liquid glue because there, it leaves you a little bit of wiggle room before it dries and you can move it around on the card front just a tad if you need to. So now, let's see. That looks nice, but I decided to pull that little piece up so I can show those little um, Bermuda Bay uh, buds. Now I'm going to take these die cut old olive leaves and just position them a little higher above or around those botanical prints that we stamped to give it a little bit more color uh, against that black and white print. I really wasn't sure how many of these I was going to use if, or if I was going to need them at all, but I die cut them ahead of time just so I'd have them to use. Now when I put that, you can see there's more greenery showing and it frames it out nicely. So I'm going to use some snail adhesive and put a little strip on the back to hold that piece of old olive twill ribbon that comes with the product medley. And it's just going to go across the back. Then I'm going to use some Stampin' Dimensionals to pop it up a bit on the, uh, from the background. So let's just put a few on there and we'll go ahead and remove that paper and put it over top. Okay. All right, so there we have our card copied directly from the catalog. You can see the first one I made is a little different. I lowered the sentiment a bit. So, you know, you can play around with it and adjust your pieces and make some beautiful cards with this Botanical Prints product medley. Be sure and subscribe to my channel and I will see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.